Hey everybody, uh, quick update from uh, last video. My uh, wounds are healing nicely here. One with the uh, new skin instead of uh, band aids. And this crappy guard lock. Um, get my money back on it. It's not the uh, lock that was pictured in the auction. So they made a mistake and they're making it right, which is cool. And uh, on the next video, <clears throat> this is a uh, American 2500 puck lock. Uh, it's like the 2000 except the keyway is on the front of the lock instead of on the like side of the lock. And uh, it's a six pinner. Uh, there's our bidding. No, that's that's not our bidding. That's uh, it's got to be a key code because this is definitely five pins or six pins. I mean, two, three, four, five, six. So that's just going to be a key code. And uh, see how it's hidden shackle works nicely. See these kind of you know work fans or uh, gas pumps and whatnot. And I've never actually dug, gutted one of these before, or picked one for that matter, so let's see if we can do both in this video here. There we go. That's uh, picked open anyway. I just kind of missed the one right behind the tension wrench. I'll see if we can even gut this guy here. Pinning tray. And let's see here. So there's Allen wrenches. I've never done this before and did zero research on it, but the time honored, time tested strategy of backing screws out until things fall apart. And on the 2000 model, the cylinders are actually a little bit different than a normal American cylinder. Uh, this though looks like it's going to be dropping right to the front, so it could be the same. Alright, so now let's see what happens here. Okay, so we got a plate that comes off, of course, covered in grease because every lock I ever pick is covered in grease. And it looks like. Might need to be open here. Let me try it. I'm locking it. Uh, nope. That is wrong. Okay, so this is our actuator right here. Okay, and try not to touch all this grease. Okay, yeah, this looks like this is just a standard American cylinder. Cool. Okay. 
Okay, clip off here. And um, I didn't feel any spools in it. But it does have some long key pins in the middle of the key. There's our six key pins laid out here, and uh, these are actually steel pins. This thing would probably be a huge pain in the rear end to drill. Yeah, it's also got the plate on the front. You know, it spins around. Well, there goes the shackle. It's got the uh, plate right there. It spins around and makes some anti-drill. And there's the shackle that I just shot out. So now we'll see what I've got this guy here. Okay, so we got serrated in number one. And serrated in number two. Rated in three, spool in four, but it's course over a long key pin so you wouldn't feel it. Spool in five, same deal, pretty pretty long key pin. And see number did I drop number six or did it not fall out? One, two, three, four, five. Now it's still stuck in there. Pretty weak spring. Okay, and then a spool on number six, and that one I definitely could have felt because it's uh, and over a short enough pin. And then did number six get? Yeah, the spring on six is still stuck in there. I'm gonna... There it is. Oh, it's actually uh, tore up a little bit, so I'm gonna be replacing that. It's actually got a little bit of a Crook to it, it was over number six. So, anyway, these are all. Um, see if we can get a close up of these. So these are actually kind of cool. These are these are steel, steel uh, pins instead of uh, the normal brass. So that's actually kind of neat. Yeah, they're all they're all steel. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, that's uh, American twenty five hundred picked and gutted. And uh, pull the camera off. So do a little close up over here. Okay, there's all of our all of our pins here, and the brass springs and steel pins, and uh, that will uh, do it for this video, and uh, we will uh, we'll talk to everybody later.